Brimstone and Breeze. Two words that at first appear to be like oil and water, but there's actually a lot more going on in his favor than one may initially expect. Welcome back to Esports Driven, and in today's lineup video, we're going to be covering Brimstone's most underrated map, and potentially change which controller will be your go-to pick for the largest map in the game. Let's get right into it. Starting with a site, there's two essential lineups you're going to want to know, and one extra for style points that we'll show later. For the right pyramid position, plant like this and run back to a lobby. Line up this metal pole and use the tip of the molly icon to place it on the bottom of this gray line. It does a fast bounce off the sides of the plant zone and lands like so. Next, for the backside plant, the spike goes down here and you run back to these sloped rocks outside cave. Run up until you can't move any further. Place your crosshair just to the left of this top leaf and shoot. You can then continue defending the spike from A long. Now that you know the basic ones, here's a lineup that you can use to keep the enemies guessing and just to flex with simultaneously. Come plant parallel to this divot in the metal. Crouch up to start planting and face towards cave when finished. Come back to that same metal pole from the first lineup and now use the line between your molly and smoke icons. Place it on the bottom left corner of the metal grating highlighted here. Shoot the molly and climb up the ropes to halls. Walk up until you're at the switch door and sprint the rest of the way to CT bridge. You'll notice you have an insane off angle to catch the next diffuser, and stall even more time. A little bit of a setup, but it goes a long way. Moving on to the B site, we've got two essential lineups for two different scenarios. The first one is a safer variant that isn't easy to set up, and the latter has a stronger post plant. For both lineups, you plant in the default position behind the pillar. Run back to this wooden box in B main and use your molly's aim assist icon. Place the top dot on this yellow stain in the wood. It bounces off the pillar and right onto the spike. Now, if you have more time, run back to cannon for a stronger setup. Wedge yourself between the wall and this object. Use your left dot on the smoke icon and place it in the middle of this gray metal piece. It instantly pops upon contact with the ground, and you can continue defending the spike from window. Now, let's do some retake lineups. For A site, come to this corner next to the wooden pallets in CT. Use the line between your stim beacon and molly icon and place it to make an L shape between the metal and grass. This precisely places it on the brick's position, so any enemy hiding back there will receive maximum damage and fully clear them out. Combine this setup with the orbital strike backside and you've got yourself a free retake. And for a B retake scenario, come to this wood box in CT arches. Place your crosshair where this white spot is made and shoot. It lands in a way that prevents peaks from this common angle. Next, use your orbital strike on left side of back side. As long as the molly is still lingering, anyone running out towards mid side will take extra damage and further disorient them, and anyone running out on the leftist side of sight will be an easy kill as they'll be moving and you won't. That's going to wrap up our Brimstone Breeze video, but before you go, check out the rest of our Brimstone lineups catalog to master the rest of the maps, and unequivocally wow your teammates simultaneously. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.